Hi ladies, this is Tia, and today I'm coming, no makeup, just me, um, and I just really want to use this video to kind of, I don't want to say vent, but just to kind of express some things and uh, wonder if you could possibly relate. The video that I posted on New Year's, um, I was telling you about some things that, goals that I had this year of living intentionally. And for that, that meant actually me doing things more intentionally rather than allowing them to just happen um, and to be more pointed towards some goals, doing some things to better me, uh, better myself, better some of the habits or either delete some habits or in, um, increase some habits that are not very consistent, those type of things. So with, with that said, I actually kind of prayed for... Um, I, I do have a mentor, but I pray for also an additional mentor to come from a different perspective, one that didn't know me um, personally, and then one that has achieved heights that I could only aspire to achieving, um, those type things. Um, I prayed about it, and then God just, he just blessed. It was time. I knew um, that was kind of a confirmation for time. I do still have my other mentor, um, and that person is more so for, well, one, she does help business-wise, definitely helped me um, to achieve some things business-wise, and then also um, she's very much a very personal uh, mentor for me um, on a, as a wife, as a mother, as just kind of all around Tia and just kind of helps me evolve, holds me accountable, um, pushes me, all of those type things. So I, again, really wanted to get a mentor that would, um, a business mentor, um, someone who I could look up to, receive from, um, and cause me to step outside of my comfort zone. Um, today, this morning, I actually posted on my Instagram a saying that said, um, nothing great ever came from comfort zones. And of course, I'm very much a comfort zone um, type of girl, or I can be, that I'm pretty bold. I will say I'm pretty bold when it comes to um, doing things that I've never done before, or um, just taking a chance and taking a leap and doing it. And I actually kind of owe that to my husband, who is also a great um, mentor for me um, and just kind of I guess I don't know just believing and expecting the impossible or believing expecting things to um, push me outside of where I would normally go but with all of that said I knew that I needed something different um, as far as my business um, of course my business is kind of unorthodox and it's something that um, I don't often always have a good go-to person this really is more so for me to kind of express some things and then also encourage you to also get a mentor. Um, it's always good to have more than just one. Um, one who knows you on a personal level and one who doesn't and they both can help kind of groom you and develop you in different aspects if, that, if you will. Um, so anyway, um, back to it. Long story short, my mentor gave me this homework assignment. And while I was ready for the homework assignment, I wasn't ready for the homework assignment. Um, and I say that to say because I, you know, it's great to listen to all of these motivational things and of course that's what I've been doing um, on a regular basis, especially if I'm starting to feel down in the slumps. There are times when I'm like stressed out, can't even sleep because I feel like I should be further along in my life than I um, am or whatever it is, whatever the case. And sometimes I lose sleep over it because I just feel like it, there is something that needs to, there's a glass ceiling that maybe I'm hitting that needs to burst and it hasn't burst. It doesn't take away from any of the other things that I've achieved. I'm so grateful and so thankful for those things, but there's something in me that wants to go further. As you know, the definition of insanity is doing the same things over and expecting a different result. Um, and so I'm trying to not be in that place of insanity um, anymore. To get back to the, I guess, homework um, assignment, this, it seemed easy when I was sent the homework assignment. I was reading through it and it just asked some, asked some questions for me to answer. Um, and then there was another portion to kind of give um, examples of those answers. And that was the part that when I say I wasn't really ready for, I wasn't truly ready for because it um, asked questions, but they were very in-depth questions and questions that wouldn't really do me any justice to give a blanket answer. 
Um, and honestly, the questions caused me some anxiety to keep it real. And I kind of skated around the assignment. I did some of the assignment, then didn't go back to it. And then because it literally caused me some anxiety to have to delve into these things. And then the questions really kind of called me on the carpet and made me put things, make things more definitive, if you will. Um, so I decided to do the parts that I could. Um, and then I stepped away and then I thought, you know what, let me make myself go back and sit down. So I had to like intentionally make myself sit down and it probably took me over two hours to even get. I'm not exactly happy with where the assignment is, um, but I decided, you know what, let me do what I can. Let me voice what I can and then ask for help on the other things. And I think that that's the key. Um, element of what I'm trying to do because I, I never I always like to keep it real I don't want to sit up here and act like I got it all together or I have it all together or um, that I always know or I have this like perfect vision um, of course you always have a perfect vision in your head but how do you get to that vision um, and so anywho I decided to go ahead answer the question as best as I could or give what I called I guess a short-term answer or a short um, version of it but then how do I eloquently put this in a statement to really make it definitive or it or, or my short-term answers even you know um, or they too broad you know what I'm saying so I decided to do that assignment do it to the best of my ability to what I can offer for right now and then send it to my mentor and say this is what I did in parentheses I need help framing this I need help um, I guess trying to put this in the right context or how to develop this to evolve into what I really truly wanted to say. Um, so this is really kind of a vent slash check in slash motivate you to kind of let you know where I am. I'm, I'm, I'm human, so are you, and so I don't want you, I hope that you're not beating yourself up. I kind of was beating myself up a little bit and feeling discouraged because I didn't really um, have a true direction. I had somewhat direction, but I didn't have a true path or a blueprint. But that is the point of doing this is getting me out of my comfort zone of just allowing things to happen, happen, um, of getting me into a place to where I am being more intentional about my path. So anyway, that is my, I guess, my motivational Monday, because today's Monday, um, thing for you to step outside of your comfort zone, get yourself a mentor, do some homework, make yourself sit down, think this thing through, map it out, take your time, because that's what I'm going to be doing with this homework assignment. It's not just a, oh, here's a, an assignment, answer these questions, turn it in type thing. This is a, let's sit down, work this thing through until I get it to the place that I want it to be and I feel confident about it. So anyway, that's what it is. I hope that this encourages you to do the same. If you have ever felt like I feel, I get sometimes with um, the anxiety of everything or just feeling all over the place or not sure what to do or even just kind of, um, what's the word? I don't want to use the word stressed out or whatever, but for lack of a better word, getting stressed out about some of the things when you actually sit down and have to try to make sort your way through or make your way um, through to get to that destination. Honestly, keeping it real, just one more thing. I did the assignment and while I felt somewhat relieved, I also felt like I couldn't calm down from the assignment, if that makes sense, because my head is just, I have so many thoughts and so many projects and so many ideas and so many responsibilities, but at the end of the day, I need to focus in and I need all of that stuff streamlined and then also learn to eliminate the things that either I can't change, um, eliminate the things that don't get me to my destination and decide what are, what is my deciding factor. Um, as far as moving some of the things off my plate so that I can actually hone in on the meat of what I need to do to get me to where I'm trying to go. But anyway, that's, that's it. That's all of my rambling. I love you. Thanks for, so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to comment below. Um, leave any comments if you have any questions for me or any video requests or if you have any um, input or even just want to kind of share some of your thoughts. Um, also, if um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and then definitely hit like on this video because it helps me out a great deal. 
I will see you in the next one. Until next time, bye.